Today on their live stream, Bungie revealed how the Armor 2.0 works. And uh, for those who didn't tune in, I'll give you a very brief summary. Uh, a lot of YouTubers have already made 10-15 minute videos on this, and I think I don't want to sit down and talk about Armor for 10-15 minutes. Let's not waste any time and just say how it works. When it comes to the overall armor set, you'll notice one change. On the right side of the screen in front of the armor in your inventory, you will notice Mobility, Resilience, Recovery, Intellect, Discipline, Strength stats, which are new, at least half of those for some people. Okay, I'm, I'm getting off track here. Intellect, Discipline, Strength is returning from Destiny 1. You're already familiar with Mobility, Resilience, and Recovery. All of these things can be affected in increments from 1 to 10. Let's say you have 11 Mobility. You are on level 1 of Mobility. If you get 19 Mobility, you are still on level 1 of Mobility, but reaching 20 Mobility will re reward you with reaching level 2 Mobility, increments of 10. This applies to every single one of those 6 categories. Now you may be wondering, what does Intellect, Discipline, and Strength do? Intellect uh, changes how fast your supercharges, as in decreases it with the higher level of Intellect you have. Discipline is the same thing except for your Grenade, and Strength is for your Melee. Now, personally, I would like if Intellect applied to class ability, but that's its own sort of deal. I don't like Super being changed. Well, we'll get, we'll get to that in a moment. The second category is with each piece of armor itself. Each armor comes with a level of 1 to 10. Sound real familiar? However, this is much like the current Masterwork system of 1 to 5. You can spend uh, gear, including Ascendant Shards, which... I don't know how those will be earned, but they're an old name returning from Dusty One, as is a lot of things here. You can in increase your armor from level 1 to 10. When you reach level 10, you will have an allowance of 10. An allowance? An allowance for what? Well, all your current armor perks are going to be turned into mods, such as hand cannon targeting, enhanced hand cannon targeting, sniper rifle targeting, remote connection, all the perks you know and love. It takes a certain- the more powerful a perk is, it takes a certain amount of energy from your allowance to apply it to an armor piece. So, let's say you want to put Enhanced Sniper Rifle Target on your helm, that will cost 6 out of your 10 if you have it fully leveled up. However, there are 3 slots, 2 for perks and 1 for each armor stat which comes built- each armor piece comes built in with their Intellect, Discipline, Strength, Ability, Resilience, Recovery, Try saying that 10 times fast, it's a mouthful. All come set with their own base stats. So, let's say you have 10 mobility on your helmet and 5 recovery, and let's ignore the rest of the list, but just imagine that it just goes up and down, there's not very much on it. You can choose to boost one of those stats in your nice handy little mod slot here. It's not a perk slot, it's a mod slot. I don't know what to call it, I'm just making up names here as we go. But... It's, it, it doesn't contain perks like sniper rifle targeting and stuff like that. This is to boost one of those base stats. So you can apply a mobility mod on it, resilience mod, recovery, intellect mod. The intellect mod costs the most. I believe it costs five of your energy to get it because it decreases your super charge time. And I have no doubt that this is going to be the absolute meta for it. I'm disappointed to see super mods basically rearing its ugly head once over. But next uh, sort of dev update that Luke Smith is doing. They are planning to talk about supers, so hopefully we will see those balanced out. I certainly don't doubt supers are going to continue to be powerful, and there's a, there's a reason intellect mods cost the most. That's pretty much sums up Armor 2.0 for the most part. It's a bit confusing, but when you actually get down to look at it as two separate pillars of the same system, it becomes very clear how the whole thing works. This didn't take 10 minutes, though it certainly did take a fair amount of time, and I don't want to waste any more of your time. I hope you have a wonderful day, and think about what you're going to apply to your armor, because your allowance is very limited. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you all whenever I decide to make another one of these atrocious videos. See ya!